Blender version 4.1 has been officially released. While there are various new features to introduce, today we'll focus on just one. The star of today's show is the Index Switch Node. It's a new addition in the 4.1 version, and the significance of this addition is crucial. It means that the Blender development team is planning to make geometry nodes incredibly easy to use. Let's take a look at what it means before the index switch node was added. Let's set up a node configuration using just the switch node to switch between five objects based on the index number. First, add a switch node, then add four objects. Since we want them to switch, connect them to the switch node. Oh, switch nodes can only be added one at a time. So you'll need to add four different switch nodes. And finally, you'll need an additional integer node to facilitate the switching of objects. By setting it up this way, you can eventually switch between five different objects using the integer node. Feeling a headache coming on. The node to refresh your aching head is none other than the index switch node. Let's implement the same setup you just saw but using the index switch node. First, connect the index switch node where the switch node was. Then, simply connect the remaining four objects to their respective sockets. What comes next? Nothing. What was previously a complex setup has now become incredibly easy. How about that? Great! So far, we've looked at the index switch node added in Blender 4.1 version. 